Can you believe October is upon us? And what a better time while everybody else is pulling out their horror movies to watch than the month of October to learn to live fearless. And that is the name of this series we are starting today. We're going to do this every Monday during the month of October. And today we are going to look at conquering fear with the three R's. Do you live in fear of something? Most all of us do. Uh, just recently, I went, I was going to my doctor for my three month checkup. It was almost at four months, but it was three months. And at, since the six week checkup, I had fallen twice. And I was really afraid of his response, of his reaction. But I, I had nothing to be afraid of. He even lifted my restrictions. So um, that was cool. But we get afraid of things like that. So that is a fear of consequences, a fear of telling someone something we don't want them to know. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> I've already jumped into the episode, but hi, I'm Carolyn and welcome to the Walk on Water Show where we are conquering fear today with the three R's. Now that that's out of the way, finally. Let's look at how we also have other fears. I remember one summer, my husband and I was walking along the Atlantic Ocean on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. And every time a good wave would come by, I would run from it instead of enjoying it lapping at my legs. The reason? Oh, those waters were filled with jellyfish. And the whole time I'm praying, God, please don't let me get stung by jellyfish. Please don't let me get stung by jellyfish. And finally, God said, if you really trusted me, you wouldn't be running. So I had to walk through the water, trusting God. And I didn't get stung by jellyfish. Some people have a fear of flying or a fear of heights. I don't particularly like heights, but usually I can't see how high I am. So it doesn't matter since I'm blind. <laughs> But there are all sorts of things. What if, what about the, what if fears? What if, what if I get sick? What if I have a surgery like I've just had? What if, you know, I get cancer? What if my husband's cancer comes back? What if I lose my husband? What if I'm left alone with no one to take care of me? You know, as we age, those are things we think about. Um. There are so many things that cause us fear. But here are the three R's. First, we need to reveal the lie, remove the lie, and then replace that lie with God's truth. Because we have just now looked at some of those lies. If you tell your doctor the, you fell, he's going to get mad at you. If you walk through the water, you're going to get stung by a jellyfish. If you fly, you're going to crash. Those are all lies. Those are lies and they come from the enemy. Do you know when fear entered the world? After Adam and Eve ate forbidden fruit and they felt the shame of their nakedness, then they heard God walking in the garden and they wanted to hide because they were afraid. Fear has to do with shame and sin. It comes from the enemy. It comes from our flesh, but it does not come from God because God does not give us a spirit of fear, but of power. As a Christian, we have Holy Spirit power. That is what we should tap into. That Holy Spirit power to get us through that airplane flight, to get us through that walk through the water, to get us through those consequences of telling something like telling your husband you didn't the car. Or you went on a shopping spree. That is what we depend on. And the other one is God gives us love. He pours love upon us. But when I see that in this verse, I think of missionaries in dangerous countries risking their lives. They don't have fear. They have love. And the last one is some translations say a sound mind and some say self-discipline. We are not sound when we are fearful. We are more like a fall leaf trembling on a branch as the wind blows. For our minds to be stable, they need to be free 
of fear. So what we do is we reveal the lie, then we remove that lie, but we got to have something to replace it. And I always choose a Bible verse that is very closely related to that fear. However, this time I'm choosing 2 Timothy 1, 7. Say it again. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Because that tells us fear is not from God. That is our reminder. And it's a reminder of the three reasons we should not fear. So join me next week as we come back to part two in our Live Fearless series here on the Walk on Water show. There will be some links to some other episodes and to the book, Faith That Walks on Water, in the description. And that's where the three R's comes from, my book, Faith That Walks on Water. Many of you are familiar with that. You all have a blessed and fearless day.